I have a beautiful new studio backdrop to show you today. It's behind me now. It is hand painted canvas. I did a photo shoot with it this week to try it out. So in this video, I will share a little bit more about this backdrop itself because it's kind of special, um, but I'll also share some of the photos that I took with it along with my thought process of why I used it over the backgrounds that I already had. And then members, I will tell you how you can see more from this project. Okay, a little background first. I have done a lot of studio portraits, both for my work as a photographer with clients and also for my work as Snapchick. Now, you don't always need to use a backdrop for portraits. I certainly don't. In fact, yesterday's Snapchick Rewind was from a holiday photo shoot from a couple of years ago where there was no formal backdrop. But using a studio backdrop and studio lighting allows you the most control over the environment of the photo. All of the backdrops that I have are Savage brand, my seamless paper backdrops and my collapsible chroma key backdrop. I purchased all of the paper backdrops and I threw away my cloth backdrops because I love these seamless paper backdrops. There's no ironing, no washing. You just cut off the parts that get dirty or wrinkly. So when Savage wrote to me to see if I would be interested in doing some sort of video with one of their products, I said, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so Savage did send me this backdrop, but they aren't compensating me for this video, nor did they ask me to say anything in particular about the backdrop. Now, when I was looking through Savage's website, the painted canvas backgrounds, they gave me pause. I, I've been wanting to try something like this for a long time. And by this, I mean a background that is not all the same color, but rather has this kind of mottled texture. It reminds me of the portrait paintings that I learned about in my art history classes in college. It, it just kind of, um, it lends the photos a certain depth that my plain backdrops just can't. It's this rich and kind of soft look, but I've held off on purchasing one up to now because I just wasn't sure how much I would use it. But now that I have it, I'm finding that it's actually more versatile than I thought it would be. I initially imagined that it would be great for a, a dressy photo project. In fact, I thought it would be good for family portraits since we're often kind of all dressed up this time of year. I thought it would be really cool to just put people in front of this. Um, in my project here, I, I brought a wooden chair in, but I also have some ideas on how I could dress this up even more with props to create kind of a more environmental look while still maintaining the full control of a studio setup. A couple other things I noticed about the backdrop were that it is completely matte, so there won't be any reflection at all. And the thick canvas is rolled up so that you don't have to deal with any wrinkles. And there is a wooden piece all along the end so that when you roll it out and use it, the end doesn't curl up. And basically all of that means that it's just easy to work with. So that's it for today. My first project with a new kind of backdrop. You will be seeing this backdrop again in the future for that other project that I have in mind where I kind of dress this background up a little bit. And members, you can see more photos from this project. That's at the link down below. And if you aren't a member, but you are interested in it, check out the join button down below. If you don't see that join button, there is a link in the description below as well. And also linked down below is this backdrop. It's not an affiliate link, it doesn't track you or anything, it just goes to the painted canvas backdrops on Savage's site, so check it out. Mine is the Eclipse color. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.